All right, I'm going to be just like totally straight with you. I love a good conspiracy just like anybody else. I mean, some of my most favorite people are the tinfoil hat friends of ours who are all the time warning us about the reptilian shape-shifting people who run the world. I, I love that stuff. I think this is just fascinating, and maybe it's just a, a carnal thing, a guilty pleasure, if you will, but uh, I just think it's interesting to watch. I don't believe much of it, uh, but I, I, I do enjoy a good conspiracy theory every now and then. Um, one of the main reasons I do enjoy conspiracy theory is because there's been so many of them who have just come truth through the years, and that's been quite unfortunate. I remember years ago, there was a lot of conspiracy videos on YouTube talking about this guy named Jeffrey, and that he had an island, and he was taking movie stars to this island, and there were un unspeakable things happening on this island, and it was just all conspiracy theory, and there were people that were, I remember seeing a video that was like a 3D rendering, uh, describing what they said had actually happened when they were down there, and just, just crazy, crazy stuff. And, uh, you know, I dismissed it as conspiracy theory, but uh, turned out it was true. And so, uh, you know, conspiracies have always been fascinating to me. But what's happening now is that the word conspiracy is being thrown out as a, as a dismissive term. Oh, that's a conspiracy theory. Oh, goodness. And, you know, that's, it's a demeaning, derogative term that just basically dismisses everybody. If you believe that, you're conspiracy. And that's, um, okay, you want to dismiss it, that's fine. But what happens when it becomes illegal to, you know, now society just says, okay, that's just a little bit crazy, but now they're moving towards it being illegal. And then what happens when they lump the Bible and basic Bible doctrines that people have believed for thousands of years, what happens when they lump Bible doctrine into conspiracy and they make it illegal. What happens then? Well, let's talk about that. Hey guys, your friend Spencer here. Our, uh, our favorite website, Snopes, uh, who have been the bastions of truth, sarcasm alert, for so long, has come out with an article on February 4th of 2021 saying that creationism bears all the hallmarks of a conspiracy theory. In the U.S. today, up to 40% of adults agree with the young earth creationists claim that all humans are descended from Adam and Eve within the past 10,000 years. Uh, this is what the article says. Many people around the world look on aghast as they witness the harm done by conspiracy theory series such as uh, those folks right there and the, the myth of that right there. I'll leave that on the screen for you. And uh, that lead to the what happened in the Capitol building on January 6th. Yet while these ideals will no doubt fade in time, there's arguably a much more enduring conspiracy theory that also pervades America in the form of young earth creationism. So what they're doing is, is they're lumping, if you notice this very carefully, they're lumping this, and if you look on the screen with me, they're lumping this, to, let's see if I can get it, get it right, this and this in together with this. These are the three amigos of conspiracy theory now. Mr. Q, Mr. Stolen So-and-So, and Young Earth Creationism. And uh, that is uh, quite a thing to assume there. The Bible, it even says here in the U.S. up to 40% of adults agree with the young earth creationists claim that all humans are descended from Adam and Eve within the past 10,000 years. They also believe that living creatures are the result of a, quote, special creation rather than evolution and shared ancestry. And that Noah's flood was worldwide and responsible for the sediments of the geological column, and such as these exposed in the Grand Canyon. And so that's from uh, uh, Snopes.com, published on February 4th, 2021. Now, here's the thing, okay? If you don't believe that, okay, that's fine. This is America. You have the right to believe whatever you want to believe, and I, I would stand with you for your right to you know, not believe these things. You don't have to believe the Bible in America. We don't force anybody's religious views upon anybody else. That is the beauty of America, and the, the free exercise of religion is guaranteed in the First Amendment of the United States of America. But what they're doing here is they're they're lumping in what happened to the Capitol and Q and all these things. They're lumping that in with Bible Christianity with one of the most basic. I mean, most most. I mean, just a, a basic doctrine of Christianity. 
young earth creationism. And uh, and so they're saying even now they're they're talking about and this this article goes through and talks about Ken Ham and the Creation uh, Institute for Cre- uh, Creation Research and and shows some of his videos and talks about the the argument between creationism and evolution and such like. And I think it's a great uh, you know it's a great discussion needs to be had. But here's what here's what it says here at the very end. Conspiracy theories are always driven by some underlying concern or agenda. The theory about Obama's birth certificate, uh, the, the 2020 election, they're all about political legitimacy and will fade uh, as the politicians promoting them fade from memory. And then it also talks about uh, that right there. Here's what he says at the very end. He says, I fear the creationist conspiracy theory will not be so short-lived. It is driven by a deep-seated power struggle within religious communities between modernist and literalist. I find it interesting that he is using the same word that we are using on this term, modernist. Uh, who are folks who do not believe the Bible literally. And it gives the, the idea of modernist and a literalist. Basically, I want to translate for you people who don't believe the Bible versus people who do believe the Bible. That's what that means. And modernist and literalist, between those who regard Scripture as coming through uh, to us through human authors, however inspired, and those who regard it as a perfect supernatural revelation, and that is a struggle that will be with us for a long time. Now, okay, this is this really is nothing new. Is a secular article written saying that uh, you know you guys that don't believe in evolution, you guys are crazy, which is nothing new. This has been going on forever. But the the difference now, the line that they are crossing now is they're using a new term to describe young Earth creationism, and that is the word conspiracy. I don't, I don't recall them ever doing that before. And that is, that is a new precedent that's being said that I think as Christian people, we need to be aware of this. Now, here's what they're doing, and I, here's what I want you to see, okay? They're, they're, they're mentioned, like I showed you here, there's three things, and I won't say them just because I don't want to get in trouble here, but uh, there's, there's two conspiracies here that are in the blue, Okay, you see those two conspiracies there. That's what they're saying. This is this is from secular-minded people. They're saying those are conspiracy theories, and they're lumping this one in there and saying it's a conspiracy too. I don't know how that ever has become a conspiracy, but if you notice that they're they're attaching it together. Okay, well let's look. Okay, let's look at what they're doing with the first two conspiracies. Um, there's a congresswoman, I believe, from Georgia who just ran and got got put in office there and she is a a she at least years ago was an open supporter of this conspiracy that you see there in the blue and here's what they're doing to her they they are basically doing everything they can to get her out of office they are removing her from all kinds of committees and things like that uh, this is from uh, a website here uh, dw.com uh, U.S. House removes controversial uh, woman supporting congresswoman from committees. The House of Representatives voted on stripping controversial Republican congresswoman Majority Taylor Green of her committee assignments before her election. Green has espoused incendiary anti-Semitic rhetoric. So, if you notice there, they're throwing the they're throwing the race card on her too, and uh, and goes and talks about all her things that she used to believe. Um, and so it says here, Green, a Republican who represents a conservative district in northern Georgia, has peddled uh, that theory and used violent rhetoric towards Democrat leaders such as House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and so uh, they are really giving this woman a big fit and they're attaching this to to her they're saying this this is dangerous this is a threat and uh, we're not going to let this stand all right but I want you to also see this um, the the second theory that we saw here in this the second conspiracy theory which is that right there um, social media platforms are removing all that from their platforms. Facebook's getting rid of it. Uh, YouTube's getting rid of a lot of that stuff. Twitter's getting rid of a lot of that. And uh, this is from NPR.org. Uh, it says social media giants Twitter and Facebook have removed, uh, have announced stricter measures on their platforms aimed at curbing misinformation and further unrest in response to last week's deadly insurrection led by uh, pro-Trump extremists at the U.S. Capitol. And so they're 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 removing groups like this that deal with this kind of stuff. They're also removing a lot of groups that deal with this, and uh, they're just they're wiping it from the internet, not on our platform, okay? And all that's good and well, okay, whatever. You want to get rid of that? Okay, that's fine. But the here's what they're doing: they're saying this amount of content has to go, and we're going to tag Bible-believing Christianity onto that too. That's where the danger is. That's where the trouble is. When they say that creationism, 
which they, they even say that 40% of adults believe this. Almost half the country believes this. And you tag the word conspiracy onto it, eventually they're going to say, just like they're dealing with this woman, you can't hold office and believe that conspiracy. That's a terrible conspiracy. You can't be a part of Congress and believe this conspiracy. And then also, it seems like they're trying to, they could label young earth creationism as conspiracy. Next thing you know, Ken Ham's gone from the internet too. This is not this is not good. This this isn't heading a good direction. I don't like where this is going. This is not I mean this is like 1984 stuff. This is uh, anti-god, anti-Christ. So, let me show you this. When when we talk and when we Bible believing Christians, when we talk about creationism, uh, the doctrine of creation is very important to us because it explains where we came from and explains where we are going. Now, in the book of Romans, chapter number 1, uh, it says here that uh, for the invisible things of Him, talking about God, for the invisible things of Him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even His eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Uh, when we see here the things, the invisible things of, uh, from the, of Him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, the Bible is teaching that that everybody on there just by its sheer logic when they see a creation they understand that there is a creator and that is a religious view and if you try to take that away from people that is a religious view too it's an atheistic secular mindset we just believe that we believe the bible we believe the bible to be the word of god and uh, and and to say that that is a conspiracy i think is out of bounds you you are saying things I mean, you know, the the old lady who goes to church, the Southern Baptist Church every Sunday morning and, and, and just goes there, meets with her friends, hears preaching, she's not a threat. She's not a conspiracy theorist. She's just a person who believes the Bible that's sitting in her lap. I, I, don't, I don't know why you would tag that word on there. To me, that's dangerous precedent that you're setting. And so creationism is, is I mean, that, that's just... That's just a part of the Bible doctrine. I mean, what, what are we going to do next? If you believe that Jesus is the only way to heaven, you can't hold public office either? If you believe Jesus is on the way to heaven, which is a basic Bible doctrine, are you going to delete our Facebook accounts too? I mean, what's where are you going to draw the line? Are you going to try to, you know, destroy Ken Ham? Are you going to try to get him off the internet completely because he's dangerous? And just tag the word conspiracy on it and lump him in with uh, with Q and all this other stuff. I mean, you, guys, this is nothing more than intellectual dishonesty. This is demonizing your opponents. This is demonizing people. I don't like it. I think it. this is, to me, really, this is a scary precedent that's being set. But uh, here's the thing. We have truth. God's people, we have truth. And on our YouTube channel, we try to give you videos that are full of truth, full of things that you can use and try to equip you as, uh, as God's people. Now, one of the videos that we dealt with was something called God's Millstone, where we talked about how uh, Karl Marx came to be and all the things he believes and things like that. Please take the time to go see God's Millstone. That is available on our channel. And uh, we talk about uh, the evolution. We talk about why, uh, basically, if you, if you indoctrinate a child into evolution, it will rob them of their belief in God. It will, you're basically prepping them to become an atheist. And so we talk about that. And, and that's not necessarily a conspiracy theory. That's really just more of a clash of worldviews. Um, you know, Democrat, Republican, capitalist, communist. I mean, you know, the Eastern world, the Western world. Um, you know, we, uh, it's, it, it, it's not a, I don't know why you throw conspiracy on that. It's just, it's just a clash of worldviews. We disagree. So why would you call me a conspiracy theorist on that? I, I just don't, uh, to me, that's, that's just way out of bounds. And I'm still trying to process that myself emotionally. But uh, when I see this right here, the word conspiracy being thrown onto basic Bible doctrine like creation, that troubles me. It makes me wonder. The world system is after this book. They're trying to get rid of it. And... Uh, because they don't like it because it tells I think I like what Billy Sunday says he says you don't like that Bible you old sinner because it knows all about you <laughs> let me just read this to you Genesis 1 1 in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth and the earth was out form and void and darkness upon the face of the earth and God said let there be light and there was light that big that right there in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth I want to tell you right there that is why our, that's where we stand that's what we believe 
we believe I, I just look I just don't believe that I'm here by accident I don't think that I'm a product of evolution uh, there have been uh, things that we have documented in God's millstone about how the evolution philosophy has been used uh, to create all kinds of atrocities in the world and uh, I know the secular minded people will say well hasn't the Bible done the same thing well not really um, and so I, I just want to tell you guys this is alarming talk um, you know, now that we we have uh, a lot of people in the in political power now, and they're they're very upset about what happened in January at the at the um, at the Capitol building, and they should be. I, I'm not. I'm not. I would never discredit that. I I didn't like it. I I stood against it. That would that should have never happened. That was ridiculous. Um, but to start throwing around the word conspiracy to demonize, get people out of office, remove their platforms and tag the word conspiracy onto it, and then to do that with basic Bible doctor like creationism, I don't like the road we're going down. I just don't like it. And I want to make you guys aware of it. Pray that it never comes to that. And I pray that God will give us a reprieve, that God will give us favor so we can continue on serving the Lord. And, man, this is crazy. I mean, what's next? If you believe the Bible, you can't hold office. If you believe the Bible, you can't have a social media platform. What's next? What's next? I don't know. But I do know that this Bible right here says that eventually Jesus is going to come back. And I'm looking forward to that day. So what's next? I don't know. But I do know that eventually the next thing is going to be the coming of Jesus Christ. And when he comes, he'll rule and reign and we ain't got to put up with this nonsense no more. So God bless you guys. I love you. Be hopeful. Be a happy Christian, hopeful Christian. And we thank God for all he's done. Subscribe to this channel. And if you haven't done so already, become a channel member. Consider donating through PayPal to our ministry. And we love you guys. Thank you so very much. Have a great day.